right, so we just got out of the gym, right? It was, uh, still picking apart, you know, while, while we're working out and everything mentally, I'm, I'm still picking apart everything in our, in our last discussion. Uh, we talked about uh, assets turning into liabilities, whether it's, it's relationships or uh, and things like that, and how, how well you can trust somebody and uh, discrepancy of trust and somebody treating you just like they would treat themselves. I feel like, you know, I'm just foreseeing the the potential of these series and everything that we're going to have. You reading all that? That graffiti on the wall over there? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I didn't notice all that. But, um, yeah, I'm foreseeing, like, the potential of the, the series and everything like that and how we could, like, really affect and impact people's lives with these and i didn't want to lead anybody astray or give y'all like misinformation or tell y'all uh things that apply to like our specific situation and and saying like it's a one size cookie cutter fit one size fits all you know like obviously every every situation is different so i just wanted to give y'all that disclaimer uh with two things that i said personally that that i'm aware of that um i was thinking about and i was like I don't know if I necessarily agree with this in every situation. You know, I might agree with it in my personal situation, but not every situation. So uh, two of those um, things that I had to say about, uh, one, I know, I know uh, in, in one of the, the scenes I was, I was talking about like how, how trigger happy I would be, you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly saying how you wouldn't be trigger happy, but you sound trigger happy. Right, right. <laughs> right. How I wanted to be like to show and prove my loyalty, you know, to to somebody who I feel deserves it. And you know, like again, while that is true, <laughs> I also had to think about it from a woman's or a female's perspective. You know, also, um, uh, I had to I had to say. Would I have that same energy if I was the one taking a bullet? And honestly, if I'm a keeper, <laughs> <laughs> you said what you said. <laughs> that requires a lot more energy to be taking a motherfucker out. What's you know what I'm saying? What you mean? <laughs> I'm saying uh, consistency. I'm saying I got to be consistent in the way I'm, I'm judging my own personal character. I'm saying. You saying like if you were the one that was about to get shot, you would rather be up to the girls so you wouldn't get shot. I'm saying a few different things. I'm saying a few different things. So I'm saying uh, it's easier for me to pull the trigger on somebody that I care about than to take a bullet for somebody. I would oh, still. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no, real like, shit. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> real, real shit. Real. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah, there's a difference. You're saying, like, because you was happy to pull that right, trigger. You right, like, right. But then you and, like. Well, and then I'm also thinking, of, if you, I'm like, thinking if you about it from a, a woman's perspective. Oh shit. We're going to fix that. All right. I'm thinking about it from a woman's perspective, too. You know, I'm like, because I remember uh, this conversation I was, I was having with, with a woman, right? And um, she she was telling me uh, that she would take a bullet for me. And she was asking if I would do the same thing for her. And I was like, yeah, you know, and I would squeeze the trigger, too, you know, for her, you know. But um, when, when I asked her if she would take a bullet, yeah, she would take a bullet for me. But then I asked her if she would. Oh, bitch. Motherfucker's tripping on the highway. Just because he got that big pistol. Right, right. He'd get away with it too. <laughs> but but then when I asked her, um, I asked her if if she would pull the trigger for me, you know. And then there was a lot more hesitancy, you know. So I I had to see what I could do. I had to wrap my head around it to empathize with that hesitancy, you know. And I feel like. Uh, because, you know, we talked about women uh, being more, what, I guess, empathetic, you know, to, to um, life. Naturally. Right, right. I feel like they will be more willing to take a bullet than to shoot. And guys will be more willing to shoot than to take a bullet. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I can do that. Now. Just, I'm just generalizing here. I'm just throwing that out, playing devil's advocate. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, while, again, if I really care that about is you. That's still much, though. That's right, still right, much. right, right, right. I, can, I can't count on, I can't. I, Right. No, I, I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? For, but I, I could, and I'm just them. speaking on my personal experience. Yeah. I say no, there's, yeah. there's definitely more people I will squeeze the trigger for than I will take a bullet for. It just, I'm just speaking on me. 
You know what I mean? No, and I'm just thinking about even the woman's perspective though. Mm -hmm. Like, what woman in these times and days? Right. Which females is going to actually take a bullet? But I can see when you said they're more apt to take a bullet right. than give them. But I, I, and you know what I feel? Just, Might have something to do with that too. You know, a, a woman has a higher threshold for pain than a guy does. You know, and they have, they have more have periods every single month. Well, I'm talking about uh, from birthing, you know, like... Okay, women been having periods, you know what I'm saying? Right. That shit passed down through your... Through your and, this, and they're used and to, like, thing. having that, that pain, you know, where, Pregnancy, like... You know? The only thing that compares close, at least from, like, things that I've read, I'm, like, none of this shit has happened to me. I'm just going based off what I read, you know, book knowledge. The only thing that, uh, that could compare, like, close in, in a man's life is getting kicked in the balls to, to uh, having a child. And it's like, I mean, how often are you going to get kicked in the balls, you know, as opposed to having a child? Like, which one's going to happen more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for, for a woman, that's kind of like a, a rite of passion that they're, like, born into that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there, you know. Maybe I'm getting, like, too deep in the nitty-gritty and everything. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the other uh, situation that I felt like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Another disclaimer in regards to to our previous discussion. Um, so we were talking about everything is an investment. We we're looking at everything as an investment, like whether it's a relationship or whatever, right? And um, we were talking about people speculating on an investment. And and if you just have a speculator, you know, you just want to like pull out, you know, and conserve your resources invest that time energy money everything else into you know some some investment with more potential right um with that at the same and, and i was talking about how like i'm just quick you know i'll, I'll cut them up like quick <laughs> cutting, them up, like, cutting, them off. Cut, cutting them off yeah yeah and um with that you know it also comes down to uh I feel like you can grow somebody into love as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, while somebody might not be wanting to take a bullet or, or shoot somebody for you yet, at this moment in time, at this point in y'all's relationship, that doesn't mean they won't ever feel like that necessarily. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so basically, that's okay. Okay, you're backtracking on two. Right, okay, right. I'm backtracking on what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So it's just discernment. It really comes down to discernment. You know, because like every situation is different. I don't want to give y'all like life advice or be coaching y'all and saying, "Oh, and they said," you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a disc few disclaimers there and everything. Also, um, I'm, I'm thinking about you know just continuing this conversation, and um, you know we're we're running on on, on time here uh, so far as as how much. Uh, space I have on my phone to, to do these uh, for the day so I'm, I'm gonna try to wrap everything up here in the next few minutes but um, I just wanted to let y'all know what you know ideas that I'm, I'm thinking about discussing next time um, in regards to all of this you know and continuing the conversation but like I said this conversation will be had another day um, in regards to everything that we, we just talked about I feel like I'm just speaking on my personal experience. Tell me if you feel the same about this. Um, as I grow as a person and, and I love, I, and I learn more about what love is because that's what I feel like life is really about. It's loving, it's, it's learning more and more and growing more and more into love for yourself and everybody around you, right? Um, and with that being said, I feel like I've been apt and prone more to loving people more and faster and harder and I don't know if like this phenomenon like I, I feel like this I feel like you know as we was talking about like spiritual assignments I feel like uh, different people um, not to get too spiritual but different people they do have uh, their assignment may have been different like if yours was to that's what you needed maybe it's changed to, no like if that's what you needed to is to um, encompass love yeah. and to know what it was that's, that may have been your whole journey for, for this life to, yeah. to and delve more into it and, and more into it and then it gets on on other levels and to where you're learning the same thing right. but you're learning on different levels different points of your life right and, and, and somebody else in another soul may be uh 
he needs to, may be, need to learn lust through his life. So all his challenges will be him overcoming that. Mm -hmm. But then That's I good. guess all of that is a form of how to love yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, and in different levels of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, another one may be like um, just like um, yeah, this is a lot of shit. But don't get it twisted. With that being said, I still feel like. I'm quick to cut the motherfucker off even faster as well. So I feel like my decision making process is, is, is uh, how do you say, uh, becoming more efficient and effective. My, de my decision making process is, is like, so I don't, I don't know really what I'm, I'm saying with that. I don't know if I like go on two extremes quicker or, or what? I, I really don't know what to do with that. I don't know if some of it has to do with like the past of my mother, you know, some, some people have, uh, you know, attributed to my, I don't know, recent, I, I don't know, like, interactions to that. Interactions like what? Like, what do you mean? Uh, like, like, falling hard and then, like, disassociating myself. Like, your extremes. Like, right, my extremes have been, like, like. More than usual. Right. I mean, I guess to them, like, I don't know. I just look at it as growth. You know, to me, it's like, everything is growth, right? Yeah. You yeah. know? Because especially if you were, like, uh, timid or introverted. Coming into an alpha, you, you're gonna like be more sure about right, you, you know, right? More decisive and less indecisive. Right, that just makes sense, just natural, you know. What I'm yeah, saying? and right. you know the word don't promote that shit. We were just talking about that, like yeah. strong alpha males that make you know make just decisions. Suppress. Yeah, they don't promote that. They they, uh, they promote feminine to us and then masculine to the female. Right. That's what's big now for some reason. I guess they equal cool everything out. That's a whole nother. I, I was gonna say is that's, to that's like keep, keep people confused and diffuse people so there's no unity. That's that was that was that was my uh, my take. But uh, yeah, new discussions, new topics coming soon. We're running out on time here. I don't want to cover too much bases, you know, without getting it on film and sharing all this value and content with y'all. But I just appreciate y'all rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do what you do, do whatever you do, do you. After all, it's what you do best. So, man, we're messing over now. Peace, y'all. Eyes in the sky.